Hello everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here. I'm bringing you another Dark Dimension 2 video today, but something was brought to my attention by a fellow Alliance member of mine, thank you, shout out to Irish Drunk, that he pointed out that the power levels for the characters is actually off in Dark Dimension 2. So when you watch my video, pay attention to like the Cable and Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and all their power levels listed at the bottom in the beginning and then watch when I'm actually in the node battling. When I click on them, the difference is probably like 6,000 to 7,000 in character power level. It's pretty crazy. So I want you guys to see this. I have actual footage of this. So my friend actually put in a ticket to them already, letting them know. So definitely pay attention to this video. Hope you guys like it. Hit that like and definitely subscribe and keep watching the videos. Peace out. Hello everyone, it's your boy Norinrad89 here. As you can tell from my intro on the video, is another Dark Dimension 2 video, but you can definitely tell this is going to be a pretty big deal because I'm going to show you right now how the power levels are definitely greatly, vastly different. As that cable is listed at 63k and that Spider-Man, or 62k, and that Spider-Man was listed at 63. <clears throat> the Doctor Strange was like a 45k, I think. And now as you're going to watch my battle and you'll see when I click on the characters how their power level is vastly different. It's like six to 7,000 higher. So it's pretty wild. We're going to see this firsthand right now when we jump into this node. And this is going to be the next, the, the finishing off of the Miss Marvel node. I did it with the two days, I think 17 and 18. I did that. So this is day 19 going in to complete this Miss Marvel node. So watch when I click on the Spider-Man and the cable and their power levels at the top as you'll see 73k cable 76 so it's like the power levels are vastly different from what's listed when you're actually entering the node so i think that's a pretty big deal it's wild shout out to irish he brought it up to me a fellow alliance mate who was noticing from his dark dimension 2 battles and from my videos when he was watching them so definitely now for the strategy for the rest of this node let's get down and dirty to the strategy now <laughs> so for this node i was trying to whittle down all the characters i was trying to get captain america out of there but i started to actually whittle down spider-man and gamora and all of them because they're brawlers and i knew i had a miss marvel coming in still left in this node so I knew once she drops in, if I had any Spider-Mans, Gamoras, or any of them left, that they were, she was just going to be assisting constantly on them. Every time they use a move, she assists. So, And as you can see, Spider-Man was actually a big, big trouble for me in this matchup because he was adding defense down. He was stunning like my Minerva and my Scientist Supreme and stuff. I think he even got a stun on my Captain Marvel once too. So it's like he's he was he was giving us some trouble. So what I did was kind of, I weakened Captain America, but I wanted to get a lot of the characters in red, just like multiples of them in red, and try to drop them at the same time like I did right there with that Cable and Gamora. So next was trying to get, I think I did Spider-Man and Mordo and the other, maybe Captain America. I would like just took them down, just that was the, that was the focus, was just getting them into red so I could possibly drop all the characters at the same time with like an AOE from Falcon or from Minerva's ultimate. So this was definitely a difficult node. This was my least favorite of the nodes for sure by far. And this was my, who well, I went the first time I tried it in the first time jumping in on day 17, I did four attempts before I got the right RNG. Then the second day, day 18, I went in just the first try and did it, kept that RNG. And then today was day 19, and I went in, and I was able to complete this node finally. I just wanted to, like I said, try to control the characters that I was going to have in the end and make sure that Miss Marvel wasn't going to have, like, tons of brawlers paired up with her so that she was just constantly attacking my people. Because usually if she goes after Spider-Man, he's defensing downing, like, all your characters, and then Miss Marvel's coming in and hitting you hard. So right now we're going to work down, slow that Spider-Man down. We're lucky that hit because always the possibility that he's going to dodge that. 
get some AOE action from the Falcon, see as we can get tell we're getting most of them into yellow and red, just taking them all down. The goal, the beautiful goal would have been to get all four of them in one shot. That way when the next team drops in, it's a completely brand new group of people. But right now we're stuck behind this Captain America taunt. I got lucky with the Captain Marvel AOEs as well after her attacks. They like really came in handy, like just making sure that I had all the characters going down and hitting them all. And Captain America wasn't as big a deal in this particular instance because he wasn't paired with another tank. If there's like a Drax and a Captain America or two Captain Americas, it's twice as hard because the turn you're just basically ping-ponging between taunts like constantly and if you don't have enough dispel you're gonna have to kill one of them first so right now let's work down Mordo everybody else is in red as you can tell let's get that AOE boom we dropped Captain America and Gamora and here comes the rest of the group so this is where we got Doctor Strange, Miss Marvel, a couple Venoms and a Cable dropping in Spider-Man's gone, so we have no other brawlers down there now, so that is beautiful. And this is the last group of enemies right here. So we're going to focus down Doctor Strange when we can, keep Miss Marvel's in check with her taunts, and then just work down that Doctor Strange. Venom was kind of rough with this pairing, because as you can tell, look at all those debuffs. Like, I'm flipping them, but boom... Then we, that was kind of a misplay because Doctor Strange just came in there and re-flipped him. That was horrible. <laughs> but definitely, like, was kind of crazy because you can see right there that Doctor Strange, when I start targeting him, he's only supposed to be at 45k. And that Doctor Strange is at, like, 53. So the power level, it's kind of wild. Definitely different and crazy that they're off like that. All right, let's work down this Doctor Strange. Just keep him going. Boom, we got Mordo out of there. What I was lucky too is I got Doctor Strange out of there before he got any revives off as well, because get those debuffs rolling. really need that stun is what I was looking for on Miss Marvel just to make sure she was going to stay in check. Flip those debuffs. Get rid of her taunt. Boom. And what's cool is like at least Miss Marvel's like not as bad as Captain America where his block chance is really high. So there's chances when you're going for that dispel with Captain Marvel of mine and he'll block it and he'll just end it. And now our Doctor Strange is gone. So now we got the last four. And this was it. Just working these people down. I wanted to get the Venoms out of there and then just keep Miss Marvel in check. She had that slow, so we're going for the stun, of course. And then just work down these two Venoms. So it was definitely an easier way, and I already had it planned out when I was going in. I knew what characters were left and everything. So definitely was fun to do this one and finish it out, and actually the technique worked that I came up with, so I was happy about it. And then we wanted to get, hopefully, to a safe point once we got the characters low enough that we were going to basic out. That's always the goal, which you want at the end of the node if you can. Keep those debuffs rolling, those venoms are debuff heavy stacked like crazy right now. Boom, ult into him. And Miss Marvel's not really doing anything, which is kind of beautiful. Healed herself up, but didn't make a difference because she's going to go down next, I think, after this. There's her taunt. Boom, boom. Those ability blocks come in, like, those ability blocks can be nasty, too, from the Venom. Like, those can be definitely trouble for you if you're not watching those correctly, definitely, for sure. So we're trying to make sure that we totally get them down and just work the crew and get this last group out of there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, pretty big breaking news with the whole power levels and everything. And 
definitely hopefully they fix that soon and get that corrected <laughs> i'll catch you guys later we'll let this play out and catch you guys next time peace out